Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Apologies if you can hear my son's pup pad in the background. He won't turn it down. So the next few intros and outros, I you may see that I've got the same makeup on, the same clothes, whatever. I keep forgetting to do the intros and outros, so I edit them, they're ready to go up, and lo and behold, I've got to do them again. So yeah, today's video is a everyday brow routine. It's a quite a quick video, it's just how I do my brows on an everyday basis really, just for a natural look. So yeah, if you want to see how I do a natural brow, stay tuned and I'll jump right in. So these first few clips uh, were taken on a different day. This is just, I wanted to show you how I groom my brows. So I take a spoolie and some scissors, normally some smaller scissors, but I've lost them. And then I just brush the hairs up and snip off where it goes over the brow sort of shape that I want. Um, this just, keeps it looking good <laughs> but yeah I do this about once a month and then normally I'll actually tweezer off the tail of my brows because I like to draw them on because I don't like how they sit naturally but yeah so just zooming you all in first I take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this one's in taupe and I just brush out the brows Then what I'm doing for natural brows, what I do every day, is I just focus on the parts of my brow that are sparse. So in this brow, the front of the brow is very sparse and there are a few little patches where it's a bit lighter. So I'll just do very light strokes in that portion. So yeah, I will just carry on doing light strokes following the way the brow hair goes. So it looks as most natural as it possibly can because this is just my everyday natural brow routine. And then, like I said earlier, I normally tweezer off my tail of my brow, so I do have to quite heavily draw this bit in because I don't naturally have one I draw it on. And then after that, I will go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills The Clear Brow Gel and I will just stick my brows down as best I can. This and the Benefit Brow Gel, I found the best to stick brows down. But you can still see I've got one pesky little brow hair. And then I go with the L'Oreal Brow Artist. This is just a medium brown gel and it just, I find separates the hairs and just makes it more natural and fluffy and rough looking as to a perfectly groomed brow, which I prefer for a natural every day. And then I'm just going to take MAC Paint Point Soft Ochre. I take this or a variety of other concealers and I just sharpen the end, the tail of the brow. I don't do the whole brow clean up, literally just the tail, just to make it look like a natural, well, not natural, but more of a sharper tail because you can't really get that defined with the brow pencil I've got. So then I'm just going to go in and do the other brow again so you can already see the, hear the difference. Um, it just makes it a bit more stand out, a bit more. But the problem with my brows I have is the brow I'm doing now is actually darker than the other brow. And also the front of this brow is very dark. It's not sparse like the other brow. So the other brow has a really nice like faded front whereas this one doesn't and it drives me insane. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the natural brow routine. If I'm feeling really, really lazy, I will just go in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist colour one. 
um, but that's just a, it's normally a nursery run day where it's just stick on some brow gel and mascara and I'm ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.